Hi everyone. If you're watching this video, you've probably bought the SolarEdge EV charger. Great decision. In this video, we'll go through the process of connecting the EV charger to the AC wires and the communication. Before we start, let's have a quick look on what you'll need for the installation. We have the EV charger already mounted on the wall. In addition, you're going to be needing the quick installation guide, AC cables, a Cat5 communication cable, a wire crimper, a pair of gloves and screwdrivers. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure that the AC power is switched off. If we'll have a closer look at the EV charger, you'll see that the AC connection as well as the communication connections already have that cable glass, which we have installed in advance. Now you need to insert the AC cable through the top of the Solar Edge EV charger and pass them through until they reach the AC terminal block. Alternatively, you can pass the cable from the back of the EV charger. In this case, you will need to use the rubber ceilings. Now we need to adjust the wires so that they can reach the connector. Strip the connection wires approximately 12 mm. Once done, let's connect the wires to the ground, neutral, L1, 2 and 3 ports. If you decide to use a one-phase AC connection, you will be using the ground, neutral and L1 ports. To connect each wire, you need to insert a flathead screwdriver into the supply terminal. The screwdriver must rest on the housing, so basically it's pushing the screwdriver in a 70 degree angle from top to bottom. Press the screwdriver firmly into the terminal until the contact opens completely. In parallel, you need to insert the wires into the port. We're now going to start with the grounding cable. Connect it to the grounding port, then release the screwdriver. Next, we'll connect the neutral L1, 2 and L3 in the same way. Let's double check the wires are firmly attached and then tighten the gland. That's it, the AC connection is completed. Now let's move on to connecting the communication. You can either use the RJ45 or LSA Plus connections. For RJ45 you will need to feed in the cable first and then crimp the RJ45 connector on the communication cable. Then insert it into the designated port. For the LSA Plus cables, please follow the wire color instructions in the installation manual. Last step, closing the glands. Make sure that they are fully closed to avoid water penetration. We have the communication connected. To complete the installation, use our installation manual or the mobile unit explaining how to fully install the EV charger. <music> 